Hi family, I hope you're good. I hope you're blessed. It's your sister Pusha Moho again. Um, a happy new year to you all. Uh, <laughs> the toothache did it. Okay, it did it to you. Yes, I'm still a bit swollen, but by I thank God, by God's grace, I am getting uh, better. I had my tooth uh, removed, and it was a uh, complex. Um, extraction emergency complex extraction it was very difficult to remove my tooth family but <laughs> thank god it's out and i am healing um yeah yeah toothache and no toothache to tooth issues cannot actually stop us literally from doing that which we are called to do i am here continuing to tell my story family even in this very new year you know, uh, before if you listen to the Holy Spirit before you do anything, you are going to have a beautiful life. I'm telling your family to please take it from me. If you learn to depend on the Holy Spirit about anything, literally anything, because you have a friend that people cannot see because the Holy Spirit is in you. And if you rely totally on him, you are going to have a peaceful and a blessed life. But if you lean on your own understanding, you're going to have troubles walking uh, the journey of life because the Holy Spirit, he helps you, you know. You 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 come to him totally as someone that says, me not, me on my own, I cannot do anything. Uh, and I, I don't even want to act, you know. There are situations whereby you meet and you'll be like, Lord, in a situation like this, what should I do? You know, uh, you wait. Let me tell you, God speaks, you know, through his spirit. And he will confirm it to you that you take right, you take left. So if you want to direct yourself, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to walk. So basically, uh, I wanted to tell you a certain chapter of my life. Uh, and I wanted to name it, uh, she entered into a covenant. She knew, uh, she entered into a covenant willingly that she knew nothing about. Why did I say willingly that she knew nothing about? When we walk as uh, traditional healers, fetish priests, whatever, whatever all these uh, uh, other agents are called to be, um, you meet people, family, and my life was a life of me meeting a lot of people, a lot of people with different issues. Some issues didn't even need me to, to take a stretch, you know. I remember a, a lady I knew, you know, a lady I knew with regard, because of being a Sangoma, you know, some people I knew because I've helped them before and I, they kept referring people. That's basically how you, you get known. And other people, it's because when you, you help them, they become your friend, they become your whatever. So there's this lady I knew, I'd consider an aunt to, to that level, um, who, who, who tend to be in uh, an aunt, literally. She brought in a, a client, you know. <laughs> Family, the client she brought, she brought as a friend out of concern. It's not even, they were not even in the same caliber when when she brought him, her in. But in the olden times or days, they were in the same caliber. So apparently this one lost the status of being in the same caliber as that one. I'll just narrate it in a worldly form because in a worldly form, there's middle class, there's whatever, there's whatever, because people are outside Jesus. So I'll just class it that way so that you understand. So this lady, when you look at her, you would think that the one who brought her in, the first lady, let me address her as that. The first lady who brought the second lady in. You would think the second lady is this one's either helper or something because that is a woman that you would see anyway. You see, and honestly, people, you know, they would treat them. Let's just say someone that has given up in life. Basically, a woman that um, drinks a lot. I mean, a lot. 
a lot so much that she forgets her middle name so much that she can sleep with the door open you know and nothing serious about her life you know she 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 gets the money for um the social grants for children and then she's gonna eat it all and when she came to me she came to me with uh, four children yeah and she had lost about four children basically so when she comes to me uh, it's because this lady who first lady is concerned about her her lifestyle and uh her children you see that is the main reason they come so once she comes to me uh you know that person where you can see that even at home they don't have time to to take a shower you know uh she was forced to shower first you can see her skin is telling you that it, it's it doesn't you know skin breathes everything about you breathes you know so you can see her pores are closed you can see that this one and shower she probably was forced to shower because they are coming here number one number two you can see how she is that no she's not okay first then uh when they come in uh i ask them are you going in together it would be better if they go in together because by the look of things this lady cannot honestly uh tell me something that uh i'll make sense out of until i probably search what is wrong with her so we get in when we get in uh the lady uh I, I i i tell them i need to 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 throw in the bones the lady herself is like no i don't want you to throw the bones to me uh and this one is now shocked <laughs> and this is like the first lady is like no what do you mean the gogo needs to tell you what's the problem we came here because we want to find out the problem imagine you're going with someone and someone tells you that i don't want the bones i know what's my problem <laughs> and you you've been a friend trying to help her situation and you are trying to find out what's wrong and she knows what's her problem and then she is like i know my problem but i can't talk too much but what i want to know and oh i want you to help me with is why are my children dying you know why are my children dying she is remaining with four children right but her children are not really okay the first three are actually the eldest the the big children the last baby she is like a baby the child is a baby himself he was a, around two years the four kids that died apparently died before the two year uh, the two year old and that thing has been bothering her you see uh she she was in her olden years matured matured years so uh she all she wants to do is why are my children dying i know what my problem is i don't want to know more all i want to know is why are my children dying so i look at the bones you see i say no problem let's look at the bones i look at the bones and the first bone i see I wish I could show you, but I don't have uh, that kind of shell because, you, you know, people decorate with shells, right? Because they are from the beach, created by God. Um, I see this, and when I look at the, at the bones, and I listen to the voices, you know, uh, there's this thing, tell her, I tell her, ma'am, all your children uh, passed away in a similar way. And all of them, their tummy was swollen, you know, veins could be seen. And she's like, yes, <laughs> yes, all of them, same problem. A stomach goes big and then there are veins, you know, it shines. And I, I'm talking to you like this, I'm worried because my two-year-old stomach has started to, 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 swell, to swell. Immediately, she uh, confirms because she has to confirm what you are seeing. I don't even have to go far because now I know where the problem is coming from looking at this woman, you see, and the voices with me, you must remember. So I just uh, close the, the bones. That I did a lot, family. I would look at the bones a bit and then pff, I would go with you. I took the bones and I start to tell you now. Ma'am, uh, 
my forefathers, the spirits are telling me that you, you made a wrong contract. You know, you, you took a, a wrong vow. You, you entered into a, something that is not all right. Yeah, go. You, you had an agreement of entering into something sexually, you know, with somebody. And that was a union that was not right. And you entered. You see me, I'm, I'm enforcing the fact that I'm saying to her, you entered. You made the vow. You, hey. <laughs> then she, she went crazy. Hey, hey, Gog. I did not enter. I know what you are talking about, but I did not enter. Gog. He did not tell me. So this one is shocked, you see. The friend doesn't, has not known. Okay, what is bothering her? She has kept a secret for years. She has never told a soul. You literally. So this woman is now looking at me. She's trying to, 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 to tell these ancestors because she's trying to fight for herself. That tell these ancestors. I did not end. I did not know. You know? Yeah, I did not know. How can they? I know what you are talking about. But I did not. I did not know. She's like, Gogo, let me tell you what happened. Now she's telling me her story. And remember, the person she's with never knew. Nobody, including her own mother, knew. <laughs> she said, I was a young girl, beautiful. And honestly, you look at her, she's beautiful. You know, she's, you won't understand. She's like a mixed breed. She's very beautiful. She said, I was a young girl. I was doing uh, teaching in Portchester. You know, I'd gone to school, so uh, in university and uh, uh, yeah, university. I'll just say that. Let me not detail too much. She said, I went to school. My parents took me to school, you know, and I went to school. I already had kids, you know. I was married before I went to school. I married young and didn't work out. And then my parents made me pursue education. I went to school. Okay. I was still looking young even though I had kids, and I understood what she meant. <clears throat> so when I was at school, you know, we have boyfriends and everything and everything. So one day I met a man, you see, not in a boyfriend, uh, uh, not in a my age size, but a, a matured man. He had everything then, long time ago, in the 90s. <laughs> so this man says to me, uh, you, he is Zulu. You must remember, if you take a combination of a Tswana and a Zulu, or a Sutu and a Zulu, you will know that it, sometimes it's, <laughs> you know, confused. So she's trying to express herself that this man, in Elimu Zulu, was a Zulu. He took me, he, he started dating me, and he was not sleeping with me, you know. That's why I loved him and I respected him. So the man told me that I don't just date, I marry. Yeah, but I don't use a woman and I don't exchange my body uh, fluids or a woman's fluids with me except I'm married to this woman. This man was somehow like a man that is uh, religious, the man that respected women. And I loved him. I loved him. I told my family that, no, the man wants to marry me. And he says, I can pursue and finish my, I, co I can actually complete my studies back home at his home in KwaZulu Natal. <laughs> so my, my parents were very angry because I'm coming from a previous marriage and I came back. I had given up my studies then. So I'm coming to this one and this one is saying the same thing. So my parents were like a little bit furious until the man promised that I will take care of everything. I'll do everything in my powers to see that she completes her studies. So literally, I went there with the last year remaining for me to finish my, my studies. Okay. We went to KwaZulu Natal. <laughs> you see that lady, family, when you mention KwaZulu Natal, when you mention Deben, when anything that has to do with Deben, she never wanted to do yet. So we, she went to, we went to Deben. When we get to Deben, I was shocked, family. Shook Oseras. Wow, the house is big. This man has everything. I was, I was like, so things are just ready for me to leave. And the men now, when we enter, 
he is now asking me do you even think that you need that your teaching uh qualification you're gonna have everything mama sekai you're gonna have everything uh mother of the house you know but i take care of it. It, it, truly the man loved me you see but i didn't know what bargain the man was coming with me the man just told me that minangi is so mategis you know me i've got taxis a lot of taxis and other businesses that i do so i believe the business that i'm doing will take care of you here is the uh, a nice part that is coming i got into the house the house is so beautiful and this is the first time the man now wants to sleep with me. I was so excited, family. The, the woman says, I was so excited. <laughs> she says, I was so happy. I was so excited that for the first time after dating him for m more than two years, like a year and a couple of months, this man has not touched me. Now he's going to touch me. So they are together the man tell, tells her that it's my culture that when i sleep with a woman i need to do it this way all i know and remember is the man cleared the bed and put on a white white uh, cloth white cloth and other things and um he was burning things and he told me that uh it's his way and his culture of accepting Emakoti. And the man, the, 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 the scariest one that I didn't understand, even if they say it's culture, what I didn't understand, he took different kinds of money, different kinds of money and threw it under the bed, you know? And we made love. I didn't even care anymore about the culture, but I was a bit confused, but I didn't care. I was happy that we finally did it. We did it. We were loving each other. I was excited. Uh, the man said to me, I will officially welcome you to your wife, uh, to your house, my wife, after 14 days. No problem. Nothing is wrong. We are enjoying. Coco, we are enjoying. You see, when she's telling me her story, there is anger, there is tears, there is. Uh, I, I, I feel a sense of relief in her telling me this you know that i i was excited god there was nothing wrong and on the 14th day he came bought me presents and everything and then he wanted to sit me down and on that particular day during the day i was just un uneasy because she says i opened the door because i felt like there was someone in the house so i opened the door I opened the door, I opened windows. I felt like someone can attack me because the house is big and I don't know people. I felt like maybe if someone is in the house or it can be a criminal. Like she was a bit paranoid about uh, thinking crime because she is not used to the place. They may know that her husband has money and then she's all alone in the house. That's all she was thinking. This is the fourth day. But she says, I felt that someone in the house. So I the, the best thing for me was to open doors. You know, I opened the door because my husband told me inside the house, don't close doors. So I, he told me that it's for his ancestors when they are visiting us. But this door, the, the main doors of the house, I opened them. Opened the windows because she's told something say i will open even those ones maybe the ancestors can protect <laughs> she said i opened the door so that i can uh, scream easily someone could hear me i said mm, i'm listening i'm listening so and when i was listening she could see now that as she's relating a story to me i understood immediately what's happening to her because she told me about different uh well, notes and coins being thrown under the bed, I could literally know that, wow, it's gone wrong. <laughs> it has gone wrong from the white sheet on the bed, gone wrong. So, white cloth. So, what happened was, he came back and he closed the, the main entrance, the, the main doors of the house. He said, Mom, Sakai, why would you open yourself doors like this? He's like, no, man something is, is was like in the house there was like someone in the house i felt like someone in the house so i got scared yeah. <laughs> the man sits her down and say you are not totally wrong my wife you know <laughs> the woman the woman is that man looking at what are you saying my love you are not totally wrong 
there is someone in the house. Hey, the woman says, <laughs> Yo. she says, go, go. I was now sweating. I was wondering, this man, this is 14 day. I'm here. This man is telling me there is someone in the house. I felt this person today. And he's saying, you are not literally wrong. There is someone in the house, but you shouldn't open the doors. That will anger the person that you are talking about. Let me talk to you, my wife. You see, my wife, I love you. Uh, love you so much. I've never had a wife for many years because I didn't want to, to, to come to this story. Uh, women don't understand. I had a wife uh, and a son. My wife, my first wife, ran away with my son because of what I want to tell you. Uh, I sat my wife down. We had a taxi then. I asked her, please, can I go get something for us to grow in business, to, to be rich, you know, for our taxes to, 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 to uh, uh, like to increase, expand in a sense, the business must grow. And I, I, I will go to someone I know, you know, that will help me grow this business. This person will give me something that will en enrich us. And there's a bit of, of something that you have to give in uh in return of all that so my first wife could not take it she was a born again christian she took my son and ran away i've never seen seen them to this day so you i met you i i told myself after that that i'll never be with a woman but then i met you i loved you i don't know what happened i was driving there i went to that side to want to understand what kind of business i can start that side because some of my drivers are coming from that side i met you there i didn't intend to to, to fall in love so i i loved you i am telling you this because you are my wife now and i love you yes i'm a successful man but here at home we have another woman who will be helping us because she has been helping me with business for many years <laughs> <laughs> the the lady was like no i don't understand it's like how do you mean she will be helping us to succeed the man says yes she she is the one sustaining the business so now and then you will see her in the house don't don't be scared you see uh and please don't make a mistake of of, of mistaken identity you see when you see her, don't get scared. She'll just be moving. She'll just be moving anyhow in the house. She she has accepted you. She knows about you. When 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 you see her moving around here, she can move anytime. <laughs> the woman said, okay. Exactly how does she move? Does she sit on the chair? Like how you know she wants to. Don't worry. Uh, Mama Sekai, don't worry, mother of the house. I, I will definitely make you see her. But anytime she, she can move, she can move in the house. <laughs> She's thinking that, oh, she can move in the house. All right. See, she said, no problem. Uh, the only thing about her is there are things that I need to do, but I only do them myself. You won't be involved. You won't be worried. Just be aware that there is another person in the house and there's a time whereby i'll have to enter into a room and be spend time in her room but when that you have nothing honestly to you have nothing honestly to worry about she's not gonna harm you she is part of us she is like our god in the house you know at she is like our god in the house because she is the one bringing in everything that i have so the woman is asking, can can at least she come out so that I can see her, you know, uh, formally be introduced to her. Now that there are days you are not in the house and I'll be spending time. She says, don't worry, my Mr. Kai, I'm going to introduce her. Today was the final day to welcome you in the house. I told you, I want to introduce her, you to her. <laughs> and then the man does something. She, he takes out something from his pocket and does something, you know. And after doing that, he he says to her, let's just wait. She will come out. Today is the day she will come out. 
Bible. The lady says, okay, she starts being relieved. Okay, there's someone in the house who's helping my husband and everything. Nothing, reality was not was not coming to her at that age. This person is a ritual, is into ritual money. You know, nothing like that was into her mind until as they were sitting now he's opening the soft drinks that he brought uh, he's pouring down you know the soft drink as he had the soft drink and then he poured it down from his glass and then he, he's telling her to do the same because he's now teaching her that every time we do something you need to know you have to give as well you know because she's here and sometimes she won't be seen. She won't be visible. She will just, but she's here. And then, boom. <laughs> From a passage coming towards the, the living room where they are. A snake. <laughs> she wants to scream. She says, Coco, I wanted to scream. But something in me said, I must not scream. But I was shocked. And this man says to me, uh, you are brave, my wife. I love you. Uh, meet, she, he, he tells her the names. I can't tell the names because he, he mentions names and he mentions surnames. You know, it means he has taken from his own family to make that. You see, so... He starts um, praising it, trying in a sense to teach her also and introduce them. Uh, and she is told what to do. Uh, they are preparing tomorrow. They'll be doing a gold ritual and everything so that she can officially be introduced to her. Yeah, but, and she's told what to do, throw what to her so that you are welcomed. It happens. She says for for two three days her her husband never left the house she said i had made it i made up my mind of how i'm gonna accept this situation but for the next coming two three days he never left the house every morning when he left the house i opened the gate for her for him but he never left so this day where he was about to leave he told me my wife uh, we continued everything was fine uh, it went to its room where he, he had his own secret place with his other wife. I just call her other wife Coco because to me, that was the second wife of the house. In fact, the owner of the house that I had to live with. He never went to to work. The second, third day, he, he went to work. He, he prepared me, you know, he'll tell me, baby, I'm going to work. I'm going to work. Game 17, Mama Sekai, game 17, whatever. So... As he was preparing, I was also preparing myself. I I only needed money from him. So he, he, he said, I must open the gate. I'm going with him to open the gate. I had stashed money, some few money in my 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 bra. Because I, I woke up, dressed up as he's preparing himself. I took money where I saw it. I stashed it up in my breast. In my bra, I mean. And then I opened the gate for him. And I waved him. I didn't close the gate. I was waving him. I started to making conversation, useless conversations with the people I saw as neighbors. And then I went outside the gate, closed the gate. I closed the gate, stood there like someone who wants to make conversation with neighbors. I didn't know the area. <laughs> <laughs> she says, Coco, she says to me, it Deben, you know, Deben is, is, is like mountainous, it's like hills, you know. I never knew where I'm going to start. All I knew is I'm not going back inside that house. <laughs> she said, Coco, that is the day I ran away from that man's house. Ever since, I never, I've never been okay. I was a person that never drank alcohol. But I came home. I came 
barefitted. Like she said, I ran away. I ran away. My, my shoe, because it's mountainous, my shoe got stuck. And I was like, I'm not, I came barefitted. I said, I would rather leave the shoes. I will not even enter into a shop to buy out of the money I stole in that house. What I did was take money where I saw it for it to take me back home. She said, when I arrived home, I sat there. I was frozen. Nobody could understand. My parents could not understand what happened. I told my parents that I, since my husband knows this place, I am vacating me, myself. I, I only came here to let you know that I'm no longer in that house. And, I, and you know, family, this lady we are talking about was all the way from Mafikeng. But now she was no longer in Mafikeng. She was in this other area, you know. And it is so sad to, to see someone turn out like that, you know, all because of a secrecy, you know. She says, I couldn't tell anybody that this is what I saw. Now, this is where I come in. Uh, you made and you, you gave away yourself, ne? To a covenant you willingly gave yourself to a covenant that you didn't know you know you loved because it was out of love let, let me tell you family uh, wickedness and evil is can be sexually transmitted you see the evil and dark spirit can be sexually transmitted especially in in a way that is not godly you see in a, in in an uh intimacy let's just put it that is not godly you see anything that has no god inside is easily uh, you know it attracts each other like that you know a dark spirit can be trans sexually transmitted but not the holy spirit the holy spirit is your birth from christ you see the holy spirit is you being blessed with the gift and you are a new creation you know you are a new person and he gives you a helper you see he he, he pours out his spirit in you because of, of a new person that you have become but the dark forces dark evil spirits can be easily transmitted if you are in an ungodly uh, relationship if you are of the world because you are not standing in christ so you cannot the spirit of the dark can easily be sexually transmitted but the spirit of light does is does not work with sexual transmission you see he's a person he, he you get him from god so what happened to her was she gave herself to a man not knowing that a man has this so in a sense she it was an agreed uh, 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 covenant you know that came through down that came through uh, the S-E-X word, you know. And what she didn't know was he was in a covenant. So what was happening is every time her uh, 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 child was born in a pregnancy form, a child left because she says she he, he managed to call the mother after many years and asked uh, the mother, to ask her where is his child. I don't know if you understand. The, the lady says, after many years, he tried looking for me. He didn't find me because I ran away. Nobody, wherever I go, I would never even say who I am, where I come from. I would just say I'm an orphan. And he managed to get my, my parents when my parents were still alive once. And he asked my mother to ask me, where is his child so what he did this man was he had expected children from this woman children that he, he will also pass away to this thing you see so the woman never gave him uh, children you know but she gave other men children she got pregnant for that one she got pregnant so her children left uh, like left uh, let me just put it passed away in, in in a pregnancy in a pregnancy way you know they, they they barely something wrong then they go you can see that the 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 spirit that she got and that set in her abdomen is the very same spirit that she left there with that he exchanged 
uh, and shared with her on that faithful day he had um, a, a, he, the cloth you see so what was happening is she never knew that leaving him is is not the end of it you know he has already placed his covenant in he, in her home so children were coming yes of course but they were after the children she had previously children were coming but children were not seeing life you see because that thing was also sitting in the in, in the children you understand that which is in the mother is also staying in the uh, sitting in the children that is how the children got no life at all so basically when she came to me she came with the last child you know that boy <laughs> he ended up calling me by my name <laughs> you know he loved me so much i that is where i i i honestly challenged the spirit of a serpent you know i challenged that man so bizarrely because i didn't understand why he couldn't leave her she was shocked she, she didn't want to be part of that because she was in a sense deceived so i took in this boy i said it's okay let me stay with him oh my beautiful handsome boy i i let the boy go when he was because he came to me when he was around two years i think he left my place when he was around five you know I groomed this boy. I groomed this boy. I made sure that it doesn't sit. And she, uh, she, she cleaned up, you know, because we honestly worked over time on this room. And she, there was a time she stayed with me and my aunt, you know, because I was working on her. She cleaned up and she went to to get a job somewhere. At least she was cleaning up. Then time came, I gave her because I cannot be in someone's business what's in the other side is none of my business the man i don't know he is not part of me my 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 duty was to see to it that this lady after her narrating a whole story i said it's okay i get you i explained how she entered into a covenant with someone uh she loved you know she willingly gave herself to him without knowing that doing so it will be a covenant so things like that happen and they happen a lot they happen a lot you know the bible says do not be deceived but company corrupts good morals and it it's it's a way of telling you that you honestly need to know somebody family uh, spending one month with somebody doesn't mean you know somebody spending two months with somebody doesn't really mean you know somebody and knowing somebody the two of you knowing each other doesn't mean you know each other find out about a person you know go out find out about a person that you intend to either marry or or bring into your your, your life find out about people are these people godly are these people god loving are these people seeking the face of god are these people all about him you understand is this person you know family me the first question i i, I ask most of people know I'll ask you, are you a born again Christian? Why? Because I want us to have a language that is the same. Because I, I do have people that I know and close people that are not born again, but they know we cannot, we don't have the same language because uh, there are things that you may like that I don't like. You see, this man, this man loved the world. You see, and unfortunately, he found a woman who is in the world as well you see a woman that is not hidden the bible says we are hidden in christ it means when you are not in christ you are not hidden you are vulnerable you are out there for the for the enemy to to to, to consume you you know to devour you the bible says in rooms about like a roaring lion, looking for who to devour so when you are out there you you will be devoured it was not an easy task to to work on Nikita, it was not easy. You know, it, it was not easy to work on that lady. Not easy at all. She had thought that her ancestors are the cause. She had thought all that. But in her heart, she knew that whatever I have, I'm, it might have been that particular day. And 
you know how painful it is for you not to be able to speak and the only thing you do you, she was drinking she was drinking she was drinking to forget the troubles and sorrows and then the the more her kids uh, passed away the more her kids you know she she got more stressed she couldn't look normal so until she broke free from something and then she spoke and she was made to know that this is how you contributed to your own problems because you gave yourself to a man that you never knew it's not like he came and stole you it's not like he he forced himself on him he did it what he did it was an agreement and that agreement made you enter into a covenant that you did not know and this also is a lesson to know that you need to know the person that you're sleeping with. You honestly need to know the person. Don't just, yeah, no. My man, my man is a business person. He's a businessman. No, my, 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 my woman is a business. Which business? Uh, how did the business start? What kind of business? You need to find out. You need to know honestly the person in order for you. The Bible says two cannot walk together unless they've agreed. So basically, she had agreed. She had given herself that, okay, whatever. And that you must remember, that is a female serpent. Very jealous. You see, very jealous. What it does to you, it, 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 it does it with jealousy. It had said on her abdomen and it continued, continued, continued to, to destroy her on her children. You know, and especially if it accepts you. In, you know, once it accepts you and you vanish, it will continue to torment you. So we also had to go through a lot, you know, uh, enemy to enemy in order for her to be freed. But by the grace of God, she was freed. And the last time I saw the lady, she was okay. And her son, by the grace of God, was saved, you know, uh, because even me in my own evil powers, I honestly stood against that one, that boy was too handsome and you know said to have to pay for something that he didn't know so the lady by breaking free also helped herself because i heard also she got born again somewhere you know her life because we i i separated from lives certain people certain lives so i thank god that nothing ever happened to her she managed to get her life together she lived yabo and it shows you how much that no matter how powerful the enemy may look on earth god is more powerful god is sovereign i may say yes i did it i worked i did that but behind that woman's life is god you see behind me i can say yeah no i got saved i i disconnect no behind us there's god because he God predestined everything. You know, God knows what's to happen. You know, those who are elected, God, he predestined them. God knows, you know, before they, you'll sit here and say, hey, I managed to run away from those. It was not you. There was God behind scenes. So in everything, we give glory to God. And we say, Jesus, may your name be exalted now and forevermore. Family, whatever you do, understand that it is possible for you to give a yes without you even knowing that you are giving a yes. So you need to be careful of people that you bring yourself around. You need to be careful, or especially partners, family. Bodily fluids are the best signatures dark agents need more than anything always remember that thank you so much for being here i love you so much god loves you more and i will be uploading videos and i will be going live not long from now uh, with this it will be it is well it is well it is well father in the name of jesus we thank you today mighty god thank you for the story that i just shared you remind me of your great deeds oh god lord in heaven we are praying this morning to say, may we never move with our enemies in the circle without a sin. May you reveal and expose God, people that are not meant to be in our circles. In the name of Jesus, in this year, God, we say we want to move with you according to the direction of your spirit. 
Lord, we say we want to grow in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus. We don't want to move the way the world moves. We don't want to be conformed to the standards of this world. Lord God Almighty, we don't even want to put ourselves under any pressure so that we can fit in. In the name of Jesus, I pray for somebody, oh God, who says, I want to know you more. Lord, who says, I want to start with you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, somebody who says, I, I long to have a friend. Somebody who says, I want to have a best friend, a companion. Lord, I say, God, may your spirit lead them to a true friend that knows you and seeks you in the name of Jesus. Let any person that we come close to be people that seek you in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, as we continue this journey, we say, take glory, God. Above all, God, thank you for being you in our lives. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. I love you. Stay blessed.